Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the forexpsm.com today the 1st of November and uh, we will continue to talk about the euro currency. Well, uh, yesterday's price action was really tough on the euro currency and it's especially interesting from the uh, perspective of our long-term forecast, long-term expectation. For those of you who have read our analysis for the week, uh, should know that we have expected the close above the 130, uh, 140, 38, and if it will, and if it has happened, uh, then we could expect, for instance, move at least to the 145.50, but maybe even to the 150 area roughly. But during the yesterday's plunge, we see that market has closed really far below, uh, far below the 140.38 area. So that signal has been failed on the monthly chart. So this is really significant. Even more, we see that market has shown just a 618 retracement on the monthly chart from the previous move down. It's 142.44, the major 618 fib resistance area. And uh, particularly, I think that uh, this could be the first bail for the uh, continuation of the euro currency right to the 118 area. So this is long-term perspective. For those of you who want to know, know more about this forecast, I suggest that you should visit our forum and read our analysis for the week since there we have taken a long-term look at the dollar index. Well, that shows really significant patterns currently as fundamental as technical. So that suggests that euro currency could reach as far as 118. Sorry. Well, uh, and currently probably this is the first step uh, to that direction. Since this is really a strong plunge on the daily time frame. This has been negated. This previous thrusting bar to this upside market has break, broken down uh, all pivot support levels, pivot support, some significant confidence support levels, and just continue move to the downside. Well, but since this is the daily research, uh, we will move gradually day by day with that trend that possibly could start in for the long term perspective on the euro currency. And we should keep in mind our potential. Uh, discussion and potential uh, bias is fundamental as technical for the reaching of the 118 area. So that's very probable currently because current situation looks mm, th in such manner, especially on the long term chart of the dollar index. Well, uh, what we see currently on the daily time frame market has hit weekly, pew, uh, sorry, monthly pivot points 137.68 is right here and significant major 382 support from that swing up. Okay. Also, you can see that market has reached the break-even point on the daily time frame. If you will take a look at the weekly time frame, you'll see that market is also very clear to shift trend, uh, very close to shift the trend on the bearish side again. If that will happen, we will see the bearish uh, stop grabber pattern on the uh, weekly time frame if current week will close below this red line on on the weekly time frame. So that could lead to the moment that all trends will be bearish as monthly, as weekly, and as daily trends. This will be a uh, totally bearish scenario. But currently market stands at some support and uh, probably we could see some retracement to the upside that could be used for the... Mm, maybe for those of you who are scalpers, you may use this retracement to enter on the scalp trade. For some positional traders, if you trade on daily time frames, you could try to hold this uh, position a bit longer. But in general, this re reversal, this plunge on the downside suggests, uh, and the manner how it has happened suggests that market will continue to move to the downside. Well, on the four hour time frame, what we see? Really significant strong thrust to the downside. It's absolutely suitable for the bread and butter context. Since this really strong th thrust on the four hour time frames, so rather sufficient number of bars to the downside, good separation from this green line that is 3 by 3 moving average. So we could count on some retracement and if it will happen, because market stands at some support, still this is the support, okay, well, uh, where is 
very probable that the most suitable area to search for the sales signals on the 5 minute chart on the 30 30 minute chart is right here this is confluence resistance on the 4 hour time frame 13933 13960 because market now stands not at the result on the daily time frame that's why the retracement to the upside will be not significant well i think that this is too close level probably that area is will be more, more suitable since this is a bit stronger than that because this is confidence resistance and uh, I think it's worth it to look for that area for the potential sell signals on the smaller time frames on the lower time frames okay on the hourly time frame what do we see look at this pattern A B C top market hit 618 retracement one current shell retracement now market accelerates down further since market shows really shallow retracement of the significant targets i suppose that market should reach at least 1618 extension probably it will happen maybe it will reach just weekly a uh, monthly pivot point but pr probably it will hit this 1618 before start any retracement to the upside that's very probable if we take into account the strength of this really move re really strong move to the downside and this is very common that case when market hits some significant area and after that we can count on some replacement this is more probable scenario well uh, we can't exclude that probably market could start replacement right from the monthly pivot point but um, personally I think that it's more probable that replacement will start from that area so that's been said in the long-term perspective we should keep in mind the potential move to the 118 since this is uh, this assumption based on the analysis of the quarterly chart of the dollar index where we see some kind of fundamental uh, foundation of that uh, assumption well and some technical issues that we have discussed in our weekly research it's very probable currently well uh, on the daily time frame and for current trading session I think that uh, we still could see some retracement to the upside very suitable area is around 139.30 139.60 that could be used for the potential uh, entry on the short side it could be just scalp trade as the bread and butter trade for instance if you enter short right here market will show some retracement to the downside you can fix the profit the target of the better um, bread and butter sell 618 support from this possible reverse to move to the upside okay or you could place your stop then to break even and just watch how market will behave further well uh, but retracement probably will start only after market will hit that target is around 137 30 area around it's flirting with the monthly pivot point I suppose also keep in mind that these levels will drift a bit lower since market will bit continue move to the downside so that levels will be a bit lower probably somewhere around 139 139.30 this confidence resistance will move to that area so that's our current view on the situation on the euro currency be extra careful in the current conditions watch for the clear patterns to enter and I think that this is not time to enter long since market has break, broken all support uh, significant support levels uh, now stands below the weekly pivot point and broken weekly pivot support one so that's really bearish um, bias on the market uh, all that market could show is just shell replacement to the upside that could be used for the entry on the short side of the market